Happy Friday, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. It's now breaking into the weekend. So, I have a story for you. And uh, this story is about an old teacher of mine, an, an older woman, who had a bit of a conniption over someone by the name of Daniel Youngblood. Now, I don't know who this person was, uh, never met them, never even heard of them before that day, but she was just on a tide rate. So, um, this happened when I was in middle school. So, while I was in middle school, oftentimes, as a commemoration of when the Declaration of Independence was signed, they would do a mock um, declaration signing where you can go up stage and you can put your name and sign it with the founding fathers. You know, yeah, it wasn't real, but it was fun. I always did it. It was fun, and and that's what people will do. And uh, one day I was in class, and the class took place on the stage, the same stage where this uh, mock declaration was housed. And so... Um, we were there talking amongst ourselves and all of a sudden she goes on a tirade. She goes and she shouts out, you do not put gang, you know, gang things on the Declaration of Independence. This is so disrespectful. You know, you don't put this, you know, blah, blah, blah. She's going off on like this and that. And I'm like, what's going on? What happened? Where, when did this happen? Where is this coming from? And she goes... You know, Daniel Youngblood, what the heck that is, name is that? We do not do gang symbols, stuff like that. So she says the name, and I'm like thinking, oh, Native American. Okay, I never heard Youngblood. I was like thinking, oh, probably Native, you know, someone of Mer Native American descent here. Didn't know that. Ooh. But she's going off, blah, 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 this and that. And there's a lot, like a good amount of, of my classmates shouting to her, there is a person with that name. There is someone named with, you know, Daniel Lungblood. He's in my class, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden she goes, he's in your class. Like, yes, there's a person with that name, blah, blah, blah. And she gets so embarrassed. She should be going off on that. You don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh, if I was in her shoes and I truly felt that the safety of the school was compromised, that I felt that there was some sort of gang affiliated individuals in this school and I was concerned, I would not go in on a tirade. I would simply ask, hey, does anyone happen to know someone by the name of Daniel Youngblood? And if anyone had said no or yes, I would then go to the superintendent and ask them and tell them, hey, I have reason to believe that the school safety may be compromised. I just want to make sure, do we have an individual by the name of Daniel Lungblood? If so, all right, then we're good because this does not look like a real name. It doesn't, It to me, it looks more of gang affiliation. Do we have this individual here? Yes or no? That's what I would have done to be professional and things like that. Not go on a tirade and act like the world is ending all because someone has a name you never heard of. I mean, that that woman should not have been teaching if she was going to go off like this. That woman should have been retired. She should have been retired. But yeah, I mean, I'm glad she felt embarrassed because who does that? You should feel embarrassed. You should be ashamed with the way you acted like that. I don't even act like that. You know, simply ask a question or if you feel like something is not wrong, discreetly go and find out information about it. That's just stupid. That's just wrong. You know, I mean, whoever this Daniel Youngblood is, you know, hey, I, I hope all is well because the way she made it seem like as if it was a crime to have that last name. And there's a lot of weird last names I've heard, but I mean, that's why you do research. And it turned out, uh, it turned out the last name Youngblood is actually Dutch, not Native American. Because the first time I heard Youngblood is when they, you know, like greenhorns, like rookies. There's another way of saying rookie. And the way I heard that was uh, uh, Native American language. I can't remember. There was a movie and they would call someone Youngblood because they were new. They were growing. 
And I associate that with Native American heritage. And I thought, oh, they must be Native American. Nope, I was wrong. Dutch. But you see, I did my research. Not go on a tirade and go like, oh, this and that. You don't know. That should have been handled a lot differently, you know. She should have asked, hey, do we have an individual by this name? You know, and if so, and she wanted to make sure, she would go to the principal and superintendent and goes, hey, I just want clarification because I truly feel the safety of the school is compromised. You know, I do. I want to make sure that there's no gang affiliation in this school, you know, blah, blah, blah. Do we have an individual with this name? That was it. That was it. Because the school's in charge is responsible for your safety before, you know, before school, during school, after school, because it's associated with the schools. Yeah. But she should not have been teaching. If she was going to act like that and make it seem like everything was bad, she should not have been teaching. There's a lot of teachers I feel like should not have been teaching. But yeah, that's the story where she went on a tirade for nothing. For nothing. That was just ridiculous. I still, I mean, I still to this day feel bad for this kid. You know, I've never met the kid. Don't even know who he is. But it's like anyone who has that last name is like, get ready to be thinking you're part of a gang when you're not. 